Hey guys, in this video, I'm gonna show you five different ways that you can boost your productivity inside of Todoist. All right, so the first pro tip I have for you is you can actually multi-select tasks. Yeah, I didn't know about this until very recently and I was blown away. So as you can see, there's no checkboxes to multi-select. Clicking right here will just mark the task as complete. So I was like, how do I do this? I actually found this by accident. Just hover your cursor over the task, hold down the shift key on your keyboard, and then click on your mouse. And there you go. And you can keep clicking as many as you want. But if you only want to select a couple tasks that are not next to each other, it's basically the same thing as selecting files in your file browser on your computer. So you can just use the control key on Windows or the command key on Mac OS. And you also can use that key to unselect a task you have selected. So I'm just going to schedule these tasks for tomorrow. All right, so tip number two, you can actually prevent a task from being completed by simply putting an asterisk at the beginning of the task, followed by a space. So as you can see here, I've actually used this trick to create headers or sections for my task under my work project. And if I click on one of them, you can see right here, that's all you have to add and boom, you are all set. This is just a simple and easy way to organize your tasks, but if you have a lot of subtasks, this will prevent all of them from being completed by accident. All right, so for tip number three, Todoist actually lets you use templates, believe it or not. All you gotta do is go to that project that you wanna duplicate, and as you can see here, I've created an episode template for a podcast. Just go on over here to Project Actions, click on that, and click on Export as a Template. And then you have an option of exporting as a file or as a shareable URL. And when you're ready to import a template, all you gotta do is just create another project. We'll call it episode two. Click on project actions and click on import from template and just throw your template file in there and it will populate all those tasks. Have you ever found yourself using a lot of repeating tasks, but not realizing how many you have or where to find them? You can actually see every single recurring task you've set up by creating a really simple filter. All you gotta do is open that filters tab, go down to add filter, type in recurring for the filter query, click add filter, and there you go. All right, so our last pro tip is you can actually add comments to a project. Now this is just super convenient if you wanna add notes or comments or files to a project because if you add files and notes to a task, when that task is completed, those comments and notes and files go with that task. They go into your archive. But if you use the comments on the project, you will always have access to them as long as your project is active. And to add a comment to a project, just click on that comment button at the top of the project page. And as you can see, you can type a note, attach a file, record your voice, or add an emoji. Or just grab a file and slide it on in there. So that's the end of this video. Thanks for watching. I really do appreciate it. Be sure to subscribe. I don't want to be pushy, but there's definitely going to be some cool stuff coming. I got a lot of apps planned. I got a lot of interesting stuff in the works. You don't want to miss it. You definitely don't want to miss it, especially if you're an app nerd like me. I am obsessed with all this stuff, and if you are too, you're not going to want to miss it. Trust me. Um, there's going to be some rants. There's going to be some uh, angry videos as well. Not all of them are going to be positive. So stay tuned. Don't forget to hit me up on Twitter if you have any questions or suggestions. If you want to suggest an app for this channel, I'd be more than likely to probably take your suggestion. <laughs> so if you want to do that, feel free to hit me up on Twitter. And until next time, I'll be seeing you guys very soon. Peace.